Hello and welcome back to Latest Sin. Today's a sad day. Um, as part of any watch collecting journey, sometimes you just have to flip watches. And um, I recently flipped my Glycine Airman Air Fighter to kind of part fund the Shooter Black Bay. The watch was listed online, the buyer was found, funds went into escrow, watch dispatched, and then nothing. Nothing whatsoever regarding the tracking of the parcel. It suddenly stopped um, as soon as it was getting to export. It stopped. The watch had been misplaced or the watch had been um, stolen. So in this video I'm going to explain what you should do before, during and after you sell a watch online. Before you list the watch online, take as many photos of the watch covering all angles, original receipt if you have it. You'll find that you'll use some of these photos for the listing anyway, but it's always best to cover all the angles of the watch. And the main one is get a photograph of the uh, receipt. Take note of your watch's serial number found on the rear of the watch on the case forward slash movement. If it's display back, it's also found on the warranty card if you have it. The reason I say this is because the watch identification number is going to be blanked out on its listings page. And if you don't take a note of it now, you will regret not taking a note of it later on if things go bad. So what to do during and after the sale of the watch. So whilst the watch is active on the website, either eBay, Chrono24 or Forum, etc, etc, Take a PDF of your, the selling page of the watch so you get to see the, the price it's for sale at and various photos. And then when you get a buyer, you want to take a contact number for that buyer as well. Don't just take the address, try and get a point of contact with a telephone number. When it gets to actually dispatching the watch, you want to take a picture of the, the parcel itself that the watch is in. You also want to get a picture of your postal receipt and the reason I say you get a picture of your postal receipt because you've got it on a digital copy then because as you know receipts are easily misplaced over over days and weeks so it's always best to have it in a digital format so once it's off in the post the watch is hunky dory it's gone keep a, keep in contact with the with the buyer keep an eye on the tracking so hopefully the watch arrives and all is good. But what happens if it doesn't? What happens if the watch doesn't reach the buyer, the destination? Well, all that information you gathered before and during now comes into play. Basically, you're going to need all that information to launch a claim against the, the parcel company. Yes, you guessed it. My, uh, my airman didn't make it to its uh, destination. And as you can see on this copy of the claim form, it asks for the information we took, the description of the goods, what did the parcel look like, have you got a copy of the receipt, and hey presto, you've got it all. You've got all that stored, ready to be used. And also, I would also add the, um, the watch's serial number in the description there. Mainly, hopefully, that once the claim has been processed, the underwriters or the insurers use this information to hopefully one day track down the thieves. So that's it, that's this brief little video on um, selling watches online. So I hope this video has been useful, you know, there's nothing worse than two weeks later after the watch has been dispatched, the buyer contacts you to say that the watch is missing and hey presto, you don't have the info required for the claim. So always be prepared for the worst. So that's it, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video. Oh Marge, Marge, look at this bed. Doesn't this uh, remind you of our incident in that uh, Milan hotel room? You know, not so long ago, when we uh, broke the bed. Oh yes, I, uh, I remember that as if it was yesterday, Marge. You know, the splinter shot up your bottom and uh, a little fragment went into uh, my willy. Yes, yes, I can remember the blood everywhere there, I can remember, you know, all oh, the blood, Marge, the blood was everywhere. If you remember that mattress, 
was soaked in blood and uh, some other fluids which we uh, won't uh, discuss. But then when it was soaked, the, ma the mattress was soaked, yes, and uh, when we called in the uh, reinforcements, you know, the, the hotel manager, he was, uh, well, he wasn't very happy with us, Marge, was he? No, he wasn't very happy with us. No, in fact, uh, he uh, charged extra on our bill, I remember, Marge. We uh, had to pay for a little bit of, uh, of what we've done. Yeah, I remember that, Marge. It was terrible. Terrible embarrassment. Oh, the pain, though, Marge. The pain. I couldn't properly... Uh, Pee for days after that, Marge. Yes, I remember. Marge? 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 Oh, she's uh, left me hanging once again, guys. Oh dear.